Hi, I'm Paris, and I've been using the same wallet that I reviewed well over a year ago, the Lock Wallet, which isn't really my favorite, but I hadn't found any wallet that had anything new or interesting to offer until now. This is the Atomic Charge Wallet. It's a wallet that offers you RFID protection for your cards. It keeps them from being crushed or damaged. But most importantly, it has a built-in battery charger for your phone that can completely recharge most phones one complete time. And since lots of people are now carrying with them the portable battery chargers for their phone, I thought, well, maybe that's a good idea to go ahead and just put it into your wallet. Epic review. The Atomic Charge Wallet reminds me a lot of the Aluma Wallet from a few years back that was very popular. I reviewed it but didn't really care for it because big as it was with that big aluminum frame case, I still couldn't get very many cards or other things that I needed to keep in my wallet inside of it and make it close. Hopefully I won't run into that with the Atomic Charge Wallet, but let's see. Pick this up for about $20 at my local Fry's store. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. Here's a close-up look at the Atomic Charge Wallet. It is shiny and nice looking. Here's the latch on the side that will open it up. And the other interesting point is here. On this edge, you can see the port where you'll plug in to charge your phone. And then here's the port to plug this device in to charge it back up. I think these are indicator lights for the amount of charge. The button to activate it. Looks like it's got a partial charge right now. In comparison to my current wallet, which I would say is mid-size, the Lock Wallet, you can see the sizes there. Lock Wallet's a little bit bigger and definitely thicker, but this one weighs more even though I haven't put anything in it because it's already got that battery in it. So let's see how easy it is to open and hope it's TARDIS-like in that there's more room inside than the outside. Okay, so if I pull it this way, Feels like something's happening. <laughs> Saves you money because you can't get into it to spend it. Okay. Maybe that'll smooth out over time. Mmm. All right, I'm a little disappointed already because the whole width of this portion, this is the battery. So looking from the outside, you would think you can put things into this part of it, but no, everything's got to fit in just this much space. And they give you, looks like about five or six pockets. In addition to the instructions, they include a fairly short charging cable that you can use both to charge up the Atomic Charge Wallet and to use this to provide power to your phone if your phone uses micro USB connectors. So this won't be the case for the newer iPhone users. With the Lightning connector, you'll need your own cable. And some newer Android phones, like my OnePlus 5, that use a USB Type-C connector. So I can use this to charge this up, but this isn't gonna work for our phones. Now this will start charging, yeah, immediately. I don't have to hit the button on here and I don't have to remember to turn this off. It automatically charges when there's something plugged in needing a charge and when you disconnect it, it, it turns itself off. This is a one amp charger. It's the one that takes a long time to charge up your phone. A lot of people with newer phones that have fast charging or quick charging capabilities are used to a 2.1, 2.2 amp charger that boosts your phone to charge 50% in a half hour, something like that. That's not happening with this. 2500 milliamp hour battery, which is not quite enough to charge up my phone one complete time, 3000 milliamp hours here, but for people with some Android or older iPhones, this would be one full charge. So the charging capability of the Atomic Charge Wallet works. I'm sure that will come in handy. Now let's see about, see about fitting, my, fitting my cards and cash into this, how much I can actually get in here. Start with five business cards. Uh oh, they don't fit in the pocket. And there's no other space other than the pocketed area to slide something in here. In paper money, I've got a 20, two fives and five ones. So I've got eight bills. I'm supposed to fold this. Yeah, that just fits in underneath the latch. Okay. I've got my driver's license, credit card, and then six other cards. Let's see if it, oh, it's not gonna close. Uh-uh, darn it, this should hold more than this. They show one card in each slot. So four cards, really? 
I still got all <laughs> this much stuff left over. I didn't even try to put in it yet. My library card and the PTA card and my punch card for getting a free sandwich. Which, by the way, none of these other paper cards fit in these slots. It's only credit cards and my driver's license that fit in them. Okay, got one card in each slot now with my cash. Now that works. So, four cards and cash. Let me see, I'm sure I can get a little bit more in there. I've added two more cards, so I now have six cards plus my cash. It's tight. I think that's the maximum. So I had what? Eight bills and six cards and that's maxed it out. And now that I have some items in there along with the weight of the battery, it's a pretty hefty little wallet. The Atomic Charge wallet fits in my pocket really easily and feels reasonably comfortable. So the Atomic Charge wallet does offer the RFID protection because it's metal on the outside. No one can use a scanner to read the RFID tags in your cards. It has the very handy option of being able to charge up your phone while you're out. So great conveniences, great features in that. However, besides which it's a little bit hard to open, <laughs> none of those things matter if I can't use it how I want to use a wallet. If I can't carry even half of the things I can carry in my other wallet and only half of the cash. One thing I wanted to mention, this is something my daughter Roxana uses. It is a credit card size battery charger for your phone. It, it's a little bit bigger than a credit card, but it's very thin and small and it comes with a cable built right into it. You just pop it out here and as long as you use micro USB, you're ready to charge. This is 1400 milliamp hours, so a little over half the capacity of what's offered by the Atomic Charge wallet, but you can use it with any wallet. You just slip this in with your credit cards and other things, and you still have the benefit of portable charging in your wallet. I'll link to both the Atomic Charge wallet and the credit card size charger down below this video. I'll continue my saga of searching for the perfect wallet, but when I find it, I'll put the video up right here. See you on the next review.